This week, we're going to continue working with forces of motion. What did we do last week in lab? What did we do last week in lab? Yeah, it's like, it's yeah, a fun more. experience of like learning and getting us prepared for the FCAT science so that we pass. Like instead of just coming upstairs, doing worksheets that we most likely wouldn't understand, we come down here with a fun experience to do something nice and cool. But if I apply some force, Oh, what happens? It really is a lot of fun because Miss um, Gurner, she's a really great science teacher, and so is Miss Rosander. Um, it's my first year working with them, but Miss um, Gurner, I work with for a little while. But um, other than that, Miss Rosander is a great teacher, and she's great at what she does, and she's amazing at this. In the beginning of the year, I give them a survey, and most of the kids coming up to fifth grade, they are like have like a you know they don't really know what to say about science it's kind of you know where but it's it's like reading mostly in a textbook and it's not so fun but we try here with fourth grade also with the lab so they have some experiences but now they're all positive they love it's their favorite subject even though it wasn't at the beginning of the year so it's fun to see that how much yeah like because every Monday and Tuesday we go and we have hands-on every week it's hands-on and there's usually worksheets so it's not like I mean it's a lot of fun but we get something out of it it's not just like we're just having fun like we actually it's educational and like if you look back at the previous grades it's not as hands-on but this year like you're really getting something out of it or like we pack them close and these are like just like that and these are like a little harder. I really like doing hands on um, science lab stuff because um, you can see more, more stuff better than just teaching. Maybe your hypothesis was correct there, Mara. In my opinion, I think that if the more hands on we do, it'll, um, it'll help you learn better than um, T going upstairs and talking about it. Ready, set, go. Yeah, because like sometimes we'll do online labs and those you don't get as much out of it because you can't really experience it. But when you do it in the lab, you're really experiencing it and getting like, so then when we do the test, you get a better grade on it. Yeah, that, one weighs more. that one weighs more? Yes. Oh, Hands-on lab is actually really fun because um, what we're doing now in the lab, um, my station we're doing um, straw soccer and we're using styrofoam balls and um, Terrell keeps passing out. It's funny. Um, and we're learning a lot about balance and unbalanced forces because he blows so hard that um, he shoots it right into our goal. So. One, two, three. Go. But it, it's just fun. It's just there's just that okay. uh, moment when you see that the kids they they get it and they want to learn. They want to be here. They are, they're motivated. They understand and they make the connection. That that drives me. Like they they have fun. It's not like oh do we have to do this. It's like you know oh can we do this? Oh I love reading this book. Or you know we have great book discussion or science lab or math discussion and they just enjoy being in the classroom. Like coming to school. That's. going um, to school on Mondays and Tuesdays because those are the days that we go to science lab. So I'm really looking forward to those days. There you go, keep going. Honestly, I think science was not my um, subject, but after like, like about two months of coming back down to the science lab, it really changed my mind about how science is and how I can learn about science. 